Hey everybody, welcome back to the video. So with the whole Halo big studio update out of the way, now that they'll start from it, I kind of want to talk about something that is like very crucial, and hopefully that Halo Studios is aware of the problem and they will work with Epic, you know, to make sure that it doesn't happen. Because this kind of problem, I say is very crucial in, to being avoided because in, in a game that, like a first person shooter, like where it responses, your response to combat on the screen is so crucial to the gameplay. And imagine this, like this problem happens say in the esports setting, that's going to be really damaging and could essentially handicap a whole team of esports players, right? Well, what am I talking about? I'm talking about traversal stuttering and animation stuttering, right? There's also another stuttering, but in the recent example of Silent Hill 2, the compilation stuttering is seemingly not to be present. Interestingly, some seems that, you know, the studio behind the Silent Hill 2 remake is aware of that issue and they found a way to get around it, but it seems they didn't, they didn't get rid of the other stuttering issues that is well known with Unreal Engine. So what does this mean? I'll let Alex from your gamer in his article tell you about it. While hardware lumen generally looks better, there are also bugs here. Grass can flicker while the entire presentation can flicker momentarily when crossing consistent and similar arbitrary points in the game world. Lumen reflections also suffer from poor denoising, presenting obvious bullying effects while moving leaves can leave trails. Other flaws and bugs present throughout, but it's remarkable to see the PC community attempt to solve the issue with mods. DLSS ready reconstruction has been poured to the game, which is the superior upscaling as I've used it many times, solving the denoising problem convincingly while DLSS.DL swap outs can sort out the trailing leaves. Even I got the spirit of things with tweaks to add ray, ray trace transparency reflection instead of just lumen probes, which greatly improve glass rendering. As always, PC Mars are to make it the best of the problem, trying to make the game better, and hopefully Bluebird takes inspiration from this. There's a lot of what we call low hanging fruit here, easy solution that can genuinely improve the game. Now, now here comes the starting part. However, we shouldn't be expecting mods to fix Unreal Flight's perennial stuttering problems, and yes, there is distraction study you cannot fix when they're talking about mods, tweaks, or even using the most powerful hardware. These are continued funda foundational problems with Unreal Engine, and that's happened time and time again. That requires a software fix. The good news, though, is that there's no shared compilation starting, which is that's been very common. For example, with Star Wars Jedi Survivor, I have that game, and starting. Seemingly is not fixed when you're using ray tracing, which is kind of a big problem because but then again ray tracing is so demanding And if you if you guys remember with that when that game first released Like that game was so broken across the board and after nine updates is still not fully fixed Which is honestly insane, but anyway moving on top back to the topic at hand There'll be no hitching because shared compound code is being compiled on the fly as it is needed Bluebird seems to be tucking this into the loading process where PC Monitoring tours show your CPU is maxed out on all cores. Traversal starter though, that's here in spades. With even a top of the range Ryzen 7 800X 3D momentarily hitching to 1624 you know, for, per millisecond. Which, that is a processor I have, so that's kind of insane. The game consistently run at over 100 FPS, depending on your hardware. So let's say an average mm, 10 millisecond per frame. You see frame times double is noticeable and cannot be avoided. And remember, this is on the fastest gaming computer CPU money can buy. On something like a more popular Ryzen 5 3600 and mainstream classic, you can double that. Reading online, I see a lot of people make consumption that these situations is much better on console, but unfortunately it isn't. There, there, it is harder to make sure the exact length of starting that are occurring due to fancy getting in the way. But it's plain as day to see they're all there and very obvious in the game's 30 FPS mode. The difference that frame time overall is much lower so the traversal starting presents as a series of drop frames as opposed to PC's sudden lurch down. PlayStation 5 can also seem to spread traversal starting for longer time periods. So more series of small starts as opposed to a giant spike as it's seen on PC. I'm like I'm gonna stop reading there. If you want to see the full articles, I'll post it in the description but down below so you can read it for yourself if you're interested. But this is kind of what I'm what I'm talking about here, folks. Traversal stuttering, among us, st just stuttering in general, it is so, it's so distracting. It can really take away from the immersion. Like the example I just I mentioned earlier at the beginning of the video. Imagine in the esports match and say the Halo Command Evolve remake has the multiplayer, right? Just take that for instance. Imagine if like that stuttering is there, dude. Like that would be, 
that could derail a whole mat, whole esports match, a competitive match. Like, not just esports, you know, just online in general. You know what I mean? So that's kind of a huge thing, especially in a first-person shooter like Halo, where your reaction time is so crucial to the gameplay. For some, among other things, for so many different reasons. And that's kind of why this needs to be talked about, so that Halo Studios can kind of be aware of it, and hopefully do whatever they can to make sure that doesn't happen, for the sake of how their game is. Because this is... Because this remake is most likely their, fir their first project on Unreal Engine. So I'd say it would certainly be a testament for how Halo can do on Unreal Engine. I'm sure like the, the visuals will be phenomenal as we've seen by that video they showed off la last week. But the starting though, that's where the problems come in. And it needs to be addressed like really quick. And Epic, you should have been on this months ago. Like no, years ago at this point. The fact there are countless examples, not just Jedi Survivor and Silent Hill 2, for instance. I mean, Immortals of Avia, remember that game that came out last year? That's another example of hitch of stuttering among other things. Remedy 2, that's another one where I've heard it's like really bad on no matter what, on what platform you play. Whenever it's PC, PS5, Series X, I heard the stuttering is really bad on that game. And that's again, another Unreal Engine title that has stuttering problems. It's just so bad. And apparently... When Jedi Fallen Order came out, apparently that had stuttering problems too. And that was on Unreal Engine 4, so it, such as Unreal Engine 5, it seems to be an issue with Unreal Engine no matter what. And, the, and what's insane to me that it still has some effects, which is kind of crazy to me. Absolutely insane, people. So yeah, this is kind of what I've been talking about, what, what I kind of alluded to. I should have talked about it in my video, but that video was already so freaking long. I didn't think I really needed to, for it to be any longer than it was. That's kind of why I didn't address it. That's why I'm making this video. Now another issue that I could talk about really, but which is kind of like how, you know, who can you really trust Halo Studios? I'm like, I don't know, because the new management is so different. The studio as a whole is so different. I don't know what can I expect from them, if that makes sense. So I guess this rumored CE remake, which is most likely real, just based on everything we've heard about it, is most likely real, so I guess whenever we see it, which I wouldn't be surprised if that's the 25th anniversary, so in about two years. So, I mean, that would make sense, but again, though, time will tell, honestly, with what they'll, they're going to do as, a stu as this new studio, well, not if anything will change, but... Tom will tell, though, but all I can say, though, is I really hope that they kind of avoid this stuttering because, yeah, for a game like Halo, uh, yeah, starting in a first-person shooter would be pretty damaging, especially for playing online, especially if there's going to be an eSport focus with multiplayer, so, yeah. Not just CE remake, by the way. Halo 7 2 or whatever is after <laughs> CE, man. Oh my gosh, like that's gonna be really bad if stuttering, traversal stuttering is a freaking thing. Yeah, so uh, hopefully, I guess Halo Studios is on top of it and they do whatever they can to avoid it, like I said before, but yeah. And this is kind of why people, you know, are nervous about Unreal Engine because of that, of the, the whole starting situation, because yeah, what a mess. And Epic should be on top of it a long time ago, and the fact that having it is, is insane. It's kind of wild, but, uh, you know, I guess that's all I got to say on this video. So, uh, yeah, what do you guys think of this, you know, potential problem that could come up with Unreal Engine with Halo moving over to it? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you like this video, hit the like button, and I'll see you on the next one. Till then, have a good one.